Hi, my name is Robert Zhao and I'm a visual artist and I work mainly with human nature relationships. In Singapore, everything is green and natural, but at the same time, it's also very unnatural. We try to leave no room for accidents to happen. We are very small, we are an island. Every part is controlled and considered. But at the same time, nature also doesn't allow itself or doesn't want to be controlled, right? This is like a, this spirit that actually is uncontrollable, un unknowable, untamable. And part of my work also look at all these stories that are emerging when human and nature kind of clash together. My interest in the natural world started mainly because my father really loved nature as well. And also I think growing up uh, much later in Singapore, it's so green, but at the same time, you can't help but feel there's something amiss. Everything is highly planned. Uh, our trees are at the sidewalk, it's strategic. Most of my work is spent observing nature and also the interactions between people and nature. And I also talk a lot with scientists just to get uh, their perspective on things that I might not be able to see. One day during a heavy rainfall, I literally heard a tree fell. And it's quite an amazing sound in, uh, in, our, in, in Singapore because it's so strange, it's so loud. And, and when it appeared out my window, it was one of the large African mahogany that has fallen. Soon after the next day, the people started to come in to clear the tree, chop it out in pieces. It was very fast. It became very obvious to me that uh, all these trees only serve as a kind of aesthetic prop to our landscape. Because in the forest, you see trees falling down all the time. And when trees fall, it's actually a natural process where ecologically it contributes to another whole system of beetles or birds or what have you. And it's actually giving nutrient back to the soil. And so there's a whole process. But in, in the city, all of this is not needed. And it kind of made me realize a tree is really doesn't kind of serve its uh, full purpose in the city. So I, I did a work in the Jakarta Pinelli trying to remember a tree where I kind of uh, photographed um, the tree was already in segments and I photographed each and every segment and tried to give the full length of the tree and then in the landscape as well to describe the tension that we have with fallen trees in the city. Nature is slowly reclaiming back spaces in all these urban areas. A lot of um, interesting stories are starting to emerge. For the Singapore Binale, I did the work Queen's Own Hill and its environs which is uh, the former name of the space of this hill that is at Gilman Barracks. This forest was previously very, very urbanized during the colonial period. And then even before that, it was uh, probably rubber uh, plantation. So, so you have all these dreams of different eras accumulating in this landscape. If you know how to look, all these uh, things are kind of uh, in the landscape. And it takes a long time to observe what's happening in the forest. And I felt the, the non-human life that's going on would be quite interesting against the backdrop of our histories. So Queen's Own Hill and its environments was, was kind of a project about that. When nature starts to grow all over them, they, they start to form interesting narrative and stories. And I felt as an artist it was uh, important for me to kind of focus on all these things that are not seen or considered when we walk through the forest. So I built a kind of a installation like a cabinet of curiosities. Yeah, I'm attracted to this kind of, I would say, maximalist mode. So it's not, there's nothing minimalist about it. Because I think as, as a person myself, trying to understand the world, I, I do collect a lot of things and try to hoard. And when I take it, I do not necessarily know why or how am I going to use it. But I think it's the accumulation of sorts. And by looking at everything that I've collected and seeing what kind of stories that emerge and I try to assemble the stories in the installation. And I feel art can work in that way, you know, to, it's not just science that can make us think about nature. You know, I think art has, a, especially in today's world where, you know, we have such a huge impact on the natural world and the nature is kind of existing at the brink of uh, humanity and everything is being threatened and we, we don't really, in our everyday life, consider the impact that we have on nature. I think as, as an artist, it's, it's very important that if we can just make people reconsider um, how our, in our everyday life, uh, nature is very much a part of the way we live.